Let you know the new advisory just came out, the 5 o'clock advisory, so two things we're going to show you. First, we'll show you this is now a Category 4 hurricane, winds of 130 miles an hour. Greg and I have been talking about this for the last 15, 20 minutes. There is just a ton of lightning around the eye, around the center, and that is indeed indicative of a strengthening storm. It still has two or three hours before we're actually looking at landfall, maybe even a little bit more. So potentially it could go even a little stronger than this. Greg, could we go and, and look at the updated track yeah, on this? Absolutely. So there the new is. here, the new part here is now there is now a hurricane warning for the Georgia and South Carolina coast. So they expect Idalia to remain in hurricane strength up until maybe Savannah, which is yeah, just incredible. And, and so what you're looking at there, you, you I disappeared. <laughs> taking it full. So, so again, you see the four right there. That's, you know, landfall is going to be about 8, 8.30. We had said earlier it's moving quickly to the northeast. It's still just as fast at 18 miles an hour. The pressure's down a little bit. But look at the difference. So that's from the four. To, can you guys put me back up here? Because I kind of want to show what we're, we're doing here in, in terms of I want to point to something. It's, I'm standing in front of this little green wall thing. <laughs> so, okay, well, maybe not. All right, anyway, so you see the little tropical storm symbol where it says Monday at 2 o'clock? You see that? All right, so there it is. And now, all of a sudden, that is a tropical storm. This is a 12-hour window. Now, actually, I think that's more like a 24-hour 24 24 window. There window should be another yeah. one right there, yeah, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But regardless, you go from a Category 4 hurricane, so that's why Greg says once it goes into Georgia, still going to be a hurricane. But let's talk about how it impacts us directly, okay? So you have the Cat 4. This won't really change much in terms of the impact on the Bay Area. As we've been saying for the last few hours, landfall around Perry as winds of 130, 135. But I do think, and the one thing we have noticed, we've seen several tornado warnings in the last 45 minutes or so, okay? Part of that has to be from the energy of this strengthening system. And, and there it is. And, and Greg and I were talking about this, and look how the blow actually goes over toward Crystal River and even over toward Brooksville. Now, that's not to say that you're looking at hurricane force winds. Again, we will not see hurricane sustained winds in our area, but I'll tell you, you know, this gets close enough. Crystal River, parts of Citrus County, Greg, could see gusts up to nearly hurricane force with some of these storms that come on shore as this gets a little bit more to the east. So that's what we're looking at. And see these little dots right there? That's the track. These are the, actually the center of circulation. So it's never a straight line. There's always kind of a little wobble out there. And you can kind of see over the last, the last couple of frames, it wobbled a little bit to the left, but still getting closer with landfall, Greg, right about there, which fortunately in many areas, it's pretty rural in this area.